Hey YouTube, I wanted to do a quick uh, video on the Smoke Daddy's Cold Smoker. Uh, I know this has been on the internet a few times, but I wanted to show those who are trying to use this on a Weber grill how I did it. So this is what we got. Smoke Daddy Big Kahuna, the air pump. This is how it comes. It comes with a nice little four inch nipple. Um, a lot of people have tried doing it out the back. Um, I really didn't want to do mine out the back. Uh, it didn't make any sense with my setup. You can see where I am. I don't want to have to roll my grill everywhere. So I didn't want to have to load it and unload it from the back. So uh, coming out a different way made more sense to me. So with that, um, how, where, where would be a good way to come off of my Weber grill? So what I've decided to do was drill a hole inside and drill a hole through my shelf. Uh, as you can see, I did a little bit of painting uh, and I'll show you why. Um, so I drilled through there at the inch and a quarter like they recommend, uh, a little over right there. But the nipple is way too small, uh, way too short. This is a straight thread, three quarter inch straight thread. Uh, so if you try to mate it up with other piping fittings, it doesn't work because they use a tapered thread. So what I ended up doing, real simple, I went to Lowe's, Home Depot actually, and bought black pipe. And I had them thread the ends a little bit further, this end a lot further. As you see, it looks a lot like the nipple now. So I can actually thread there, or put this inside the grill and uh, that way I've got one pipe that threads into the smoke daddy. So that little silver nipple will be gone and it'll be, it'll be replaced with this. And I'll show you that here in a minute. Okay, so I'm back. Um, what I've done is, as you can see, I've threaded, the, or pushed the black pipe through, connected it to Smoke Daddy, and on the inside of my grill, you can see that it protrudes in about, I don't know, two inches, two and a half inches, not quite three. Everything is hand tight. Um, so what I ended up buying was a two foot, uh, 24 inch black pipe and uh, I cleaned it up after they cut the threads about eight inches deep on one side and I had them cut it another inch on the other side um, just to make sure I had plenty of uh, room so as you can see I still am about two inches over on this side as well so a 24 inch was perfect for me um, so I'm going to start it up actually uh, uh, next and uh, see how well it works. I wanted to do an unbiased review um, Not getting paid for it. I actually bought this after talking to Dan. He said it would work for me and if anybody's ever had a Weber grill um, Nothing that I've ever tried has uh, given me any kind of smoke smoking tubes um, The little stainless steel smoker box you put chips in um, foil uh, foil pouches they either burn or they do nothing so this was a forced air kind of made sense uh, we'll see so uh, I want to cook some steaks tonight and throw some smoke on it so we're gonna give this a good test and see what happens okay so what I've done so far is I've taken a charcoal briquette I'd rather use a lump but that's what I have and uh, I've put it into the bottom uh, like the directions say, use my propane torch, lit it from the bottom for about a minute. Um, I actually did flip it over and um, torched it again from the bottom. So actually both sides should be nice and gray now. I'm going to put some wood chips in and put the bottom on and then the top on. And we're going to see what happens. Oh, sorry. I should show you. Putting the wood chips in. Oh, I see some smoke already. So, one thing I would recommend doing is um, when you are lighting it off, move the uh, 
move the bottom out of the way, I mean the, uh, the hose out of the way. Let me put this down for a second. All right, I had some technical difficulties with the bottom, uh, but I got it on and down. And like I was kind of hoping, we have some smoke going on in here. So um, that part of it is good. It's doing exactly what it was designed to do. The true test is going to be turning my grill on and actually um, seeing how it is once once my grill gets up to temperature. So don't crucify me on my flavor grates. They uh, this grill is many 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 years old, and uh, it still does what it needs to do. So. We are going to try to get this puppy up to temperature. But again, uh, what I used to drill the holes, I used a step bit. Um, Harbor Freight had a good cheap st uh, step bit um, that allowed me to drill the inner and outer holes. And uh, other than that, we're good. I will be back shortly. Okay, so I'm back out here. The top lid, be careful, it does get hot. I can touch it briefly. Um, it is hot. It is pretty hot. Um, as you can see, I'm smoking good in the chip section. Be careful, that is hot. I would recommend using gloves. My grill is at 500 degrees. I do have, you guys might be able to see that, I do have a little bit of smoke coming through. When I had the pump up on high, it really, really, really didn't have anything. I turned it down even lower and more smoke comes out. Imagine that. More smoke, lower fan. So. As of right now, it's not a billowing smoke heap in here. Only time will tell if I actually get any good smoke out of this or not. So what I was really hoping to find was after a few minutes at 500 degrees that I would see smoke coming out not I didn't have the expectations of a smoker but I had expectations that I would get a little get a little more smoke than that All right, everyone, I had to come back to this one more time. Uh, I loaded it up with chips because it looked like it was really going to burn out. And I've really got some good smoke coming out now. Um, if I turn the, turn the pump up on high, I've really got even more smoke coming out. So right now, everything looks like, like it's going to do something. Um, again... Right now I see smoke, uh, you probably can't, but I do see smoke coming out the top of the grill. Um, the bad part is, is it probably won't suck it down to this part of the grill, but I cook mainly on that side anyway, until um, it gets dirty and then I'll clean it and swap sides, and dirty the other side. So anyway, right now uh, it looks pretty good. I'm getting some smoke coming out of the top of the grill and uh, I do have smoke coming up through here. Um, might need to work on the tube in the middle, maybe make it longer and cap it, put holes in the top so the smoke comes out evenly across the entire grill. But that would be another trial, another error, another video. So anyway, uh, I will let you know how the steaks turn out tonight. If there was any kind of a smoky, uh, smokiness to it, 
uh, but all in all, so far, everything seems to be doing as it's supposed to. So this is the way that I was really hoping that things would turn out. Um, right now the grill is off and it is still at 100% power on the, on the pump. I'm gonna turn that down, but you know, the grill is off. And at five, 600 degrees, that's where I um, grill my steaks. And um, it would be lower for some other things, chicken, um, which looks like it might do very well for chicken. But I've got a lot of smoke coming out. So unfortunately, it's still contained in that one section, but we shall see. Welcome back. I actually uh, loaded up the smoke generator again. And right now we're cold smoking. We're not smoking anything, but we have it running. So that's what I've got. That's what it looks like. Uh, the first wood chips blows through it really quick. Um, so this time I put in some wood chunks along with some wood chips. And I've kept it going uh, since I started about two hours ago. So look at that. That's quite impressive. For cold smoke, that's pretty impressive. Now, coming up a little bit later, I'll be lighting this off and putting some steaks on. We'll see how well it does then. All right, I'm back again. I gotta hurry. Wanna show you guys what's going on here. Got some killer steaks on the grill. I got some good smoke coming out still. I'm not sure if it'll get to the end steaks, but hey, it's, it is doing every bit like uh, they said it would. Looks good, smells good. See ya. Okay, here's a little conclusion. Um, sorry for the video. But anyway, Smoke Daddy, Big Kahuna, it did its job. It did very well. If you're, gonna, if you're looking for a smoker in a Weber gas grill that is at 600 degrees or, or a 550 when you're cooking steaks, um, you're not gonna get a smoke ring. For one, you're cooking way too fast. Um, but if you wanna add a little smoky flavor, it did its job. Um, there was a steak that I had. Um, at the very end, you could actually taste the hickory smoke. So uh, to me, it's a success. It does what it said it was going to do. Um, I can only imagine what it would be like when you're cooking low and slow uh, on your smoker. Um, but mine does pretty good. I may actually try it over there next because I do have a Green Mountain Grill smoker. So maybe next video we'll be uh, uh, attaching it to my Green Mountain and seeing what happens there uh, because I do augment smoke with the pellet grill. So anyway, y'all have a good night. Have fun.